Hey guys, this is René. Welcome back to another video. And today I will be talking about my Skyping project expert advisor, which means that I will explain the expert advisor, how it works, what the strategy is. Then I will show you a little bit um, about the inputs, what you can configure and how you can like define how the program works. And in the end, I will tell you something about um, what some set settings that work good for me in the back test and what you can take away from this. So uh, let's start by having a, having a look at the program and how it works in the strategy tester. This is a simulation with historical data, but you can see already that this EA places pending orders. So we can see here we have buy stop orders at the last relative high and sell stop orders at the last relative high low and the EA constantly searches for these levels and if there is a level uh, order is placed and then we simply wait <coughs> until the order is executed and as you can see here this will uh, execute the sell stop order in a second and the general idea is that below the relative lows or above the relative highs there's usually a bigger movement because um, yeah, it will like accelerate the movement and there is some sort of breakout. And because this is a Skyping strategy, we will use a really aggressive trailing stop. And as you can see, oh, here the trailing stop was already processed and closed the position. You can see it um, down here in the operations. So the stops were modified like really quick and then we made a small profit. And this is... Um, already the overall idea of this strategy. I like to keep the strategies easy and simple, not too complex, but um, also really efficient. Here you can see another short breakout, another uh, acceleration of the price movement, and there was another uh, trading stop which was used to secure the profits. And as I can, uh, as I speed up the EA here, you can see like there are some times where the EA does not trade. This can be configured in the settings. We will have a look at this in a second. But you can see also if there are new relative highs or lows, the old orders are already uh, deleted and um, the entry levels are adjusted to the latest relative highs and lows. And yeah, I could speed this up, show you um, some more here of this trading, but um, this is something you can do on your own. Just go to my MQL5 seller profile, have a look at the program, and you can download the free demo for um, as many back tests as you like. You can test this in any symbol and with all the settings that you like. So speaking about about settings, let's have a look at this. I will show you the inputs here in the strategy tester, but if you trade this in a demo or live trading account or environment, everything is the same, so you can configure the same inputs there. And we will start in the beginning with the general settings. You can see you can choose to trade buy and or sell trades. Just say buy or sell trades true, and it will only trade the direction that you enabled here. Then we have the time frame. Here you can say you want to trade on the yeah on any of the available time frames here. And the expert advisor will find the highs and lows on this specified time frame. Also, it uses the bars and input to um, find the relative highs and lows. So if you choose a smaller value here for the bars and input, it will find a lot more highs and lows. And if you choose a bigger value here, it will find less highs and lows. You can just play around with this in the tester. For me personally, 10 works quite good, but please do your own testing here. Then we will have a look at the trade settings and here you can configure everything which is um, responsible uh, for the orders and the positions and how they are managed. So first of all, we can choose a fixed or a percentage trading volume and this works as I explain now. So if you choose the volume fixed for the trading volume, every order will be placed with the value that you put here for fixed lots. So in this case, every order will be traded with 0.1 lots or whatever you define here. Also, you can choose to trade with a vol volume percentage mode here. And then it, uh, the expert advisor will look at this risk percentage of balance input. And here you can uh, configure any risk, for example, 3, 4, or 5% or whatever you like for every trade, which means that if a new order is placed, it will 
calculate the distance from the entry point of the order to the stop loss, the initial stop loss. And based on this distance, it will calculate the lot size. So if the initial loss is reached, you will lose around four, five or three or whatever you define here percent of your balance. Please um, make sure that you do not put a too big number here because you might also get some slippage on your entry and then of course the loss can be higher than what you configured here. So this is just used for the initial calculation of the EA. Then we have the TP points and the SL points and this um, these are the inputs that can be used to define like where the take profit level is and the stop loss level is relative to the entry point or the um, entry price for the order. So in this case, the TB will be for buy orders 200 points above the entry order and the stop loss order will be 200 points below the stop loss order. Then we have three inputs for the trailing stop loss and here you can define the TSL trigger points. For example, 40 means that the trailing stop loss or yeah, the trading stop loss will start working once a position is at least 40 points in profit. So for a buy order, for example, if the price, the current market price is at least 40 points above the position open price, it will start trailing the stop loss and will trail the stop loss in the distance that you set here for the TSL points input. So in this case, for 10, it means that the TSL will be trailed 10 points below the current market price for a buy position and above the current market price for a sell position, of course. Then we have the TSL set points. Here you could say, for example, I want to trail in a distance of 10 points, but I only want to modify my stop loss if the new SL is then at least the TSL points. So for example, 10 points above the old SL. I usually choose zero here, but you can do whatever you like with these inputs. And um, of course, if I change this to 40-40 or 50-50 or 60-60, then the stop loss will be trailed in a little bit um, in a bigger distance, of course. Then we have the time settings. In the test, we already saw that in the night, some orders were canceled and there were no new orders. This is because the time filter is currently true or active. This means that between 1.30 and 2015, Trading is allowed, but out of this time window, all um, yeah, new orders are not placed. So you can define the trading hours here. And the starting time is built um, from the start hour and the start minute. And the end uh, of the trading time is built um, using these two inputs, the end hour and the end minute. So you can just play around with this or you can just say false and you do not want to use the time filter at all, which means you are trading the whole day. Then we have the drawdown settings. Here you can say if you want to active or deactivate the drawdown monitoring. If you say that you want to um, monitor your drawdown, you can set a maximum daily drawdown in percent. This means that when there is a new day starting, the EA will um, take the current balance or equity, whatever is higher at this time. And this is then the base uh, balance pretty much. You can also see it in the upper left corner in the chart comment if you activate the chart comment. Then it calculates the drawdown based on this percentage here. And this is then the stop out level. So if the equity or balance drops below the level that um, is calculated, it will close all the positions of this EA and it will not open any new orders for the day. Also, this um, scalping project EA will communicate for example, if you activate it in three different charts, three different uh, symbols, for example, um, all of these expert advisors will communicate with each other. So if one of them realizes there is a drawdown, it will set a global variable. So the other EAs can read this global variable and can also close their positions and not open more positions on the same day. It is important that for any EA that you use and that should use this monitoring, you have to set this input to true. Also, if you use different EAs and different charts and they all should use this monitoring, it is always a good idea to set true for all of them in the inputs and to choose the, the same maximum daily drawdown in percent. Then in the end, we have more settings. Here you can set um, what order comment you want to use for all of your orders. 
And this is just the order comment that will be used for the orders. And um, so you can see for the open positions, for example, which expert advisor sent this order. Then we have the magic number, which is um, just a number that is in the background for every trade a expert advisor places. And um, if you choose to activate this EA in multiple charts or multiple currencies, it is recommended to choose a different magic number for each expert advisor because if the program crashes, like the meter trader, or if your computer shuts down and you have to restart it, the EAs will be able to find their own trades using this magic number. In the end, we have the option to show or to hide the chart comment in the upper left corner of the chart. So let me run another backtest and maybe we can have a look at the trading stop loss again because I now increase the uh, trigger points and the trading stop loss points. So uh, after I do this visual backtest, I will tell you what I personally use as a uh, input set for this expert advisor. But this doesn't mean that this is like that these have to be the best inputs. I cannot see the future. I am not a trading guru. So please be responsible for your own money and make your own testing. I cannot recommend you any settings. I can just say what I personally use and what works for me so far. But please always make your own testing and use the settings that you feel comfortable with. Oh, this was a little bit too fast, I think. But you can see now um, if there are um, trades and you can see here if they're in the profitable area, the stop loss will then be trailed. And you can see here as um, the price falls down the SL will be trailed with the price and then we cash in the profits and this is like the general idea of this expert advisor it is just um, the idea is to have quick trades and efficient trades once you reach one of these breakout levels also you can see here in the upper left corner of the chart there is the starting balance and the stop out level documented and you can also see the drawdown in percent if there is a drawdown currently and yeah, this is it. This is all I want to tell about the EA. Again, you can make um, as many backtests as you like with a free demo. And I want to talk about the inputs that I personally use. So for Euro US dollar, I found that 20 TSL trigger points and 10 TSL points works quite good in the strategy tester. So I use this. For the rest of the settings, I pretty much use the default settings. And for USD, Japanese Yen, I use 40 TSL trigger points and 10 TSL points. So if you start your backtesting and optimizing process, this might be a good starting point. But in the end, make um, as many backtests as you like to, feel the, uh, to, to find the settings that you feel comfortable with. And please be uh, always be responsible for your own money and be careful so you do not lose too much money that you cannot afford to lose. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great time using this expert advisor and uh, I hope you will have good trades. Bye bye.